family what is going on man it's been it's been a little while since we did a video like this <clears throat> I got a message oh where's my phone a message that says order delivered and this shoe man I cannot wait to see it's a pair of shoes <laughs> Oh yes, look at where they set it. Usually they set it like right here, but we're gonna have to venture out in the cold about two steps to go and get it. Now, door start closing. <laughs> but I beat you, I beat you. I can't wait to see what these look like in hand, to be honest. Yeah. Very nice. Whew. These shoes are actually specifically dropped for the Chinese New Year. And I think that's pretty cool that they do um, like specific events for shoes. So that's cool. I heard you think freaking stab me in my eyes. Yeah. Here's the box. This is the most fanciest box that I ever had. It's nice, clean, sharp edges. Whew. We're gonna have you have the first look. Oh, it's a lift box. Ooh. Look at that paper. That is clean, it has fireworks on it. I wanna be very gentle. Reveal. These are nice. And just like with all the shoes that I get, I can't even wear them. Cause I gotta sell them. But oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. These are clean, bro. Holy crap, I love that rose right there. I think it's a rose. I don't know, some Chinese flowers, I'll just call them that. But there's like flowers all over it. Fireworks all over it, man. These are cool as heck, dude. I actually never really get, get lucky and get um, limited releases. And I think these were pretty decently limited. Got a gold lace lock right here. Gold jump man. We got milky white bottom instead of uh, a translucent one. Man, these are awesome. I'm glad to get these. <clears throat> but uh, they're gonna be going out. I'm going to be selling them on eBay, so I might link it down in the description if you want to buy them. Uh, they're pretty pricey. I actually bought these. Retail price is uh, $250, I believe. And I think they're up right now on eBay for around $325 or something. This is the top right here. I forgot to show you guys that. Quality inspired by the greatest player ever. Howdy. This is not the same video, but I still want to say hello, good morning. I just woke up. <laughs> Hope everyone is doing a okay. We actually got a ton of snow in the past like three days, so been shoveling like a freaking ton. Uh, my back's been hurting. I've been re hurting my back every time that I've shoveled. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just Did you go to the dentist yet? Your teeth hurt? <laughs> Have you been seeing a difference with your teeth? That's awesome. Well, good morning. <laughs> So 
So yeah, we got these like mounds of snow. They were a little bit higher yesterday. And there's like a big, huge chunk of something just sitting at the end of the driveway right there. Really nice out here. The sun is just, I get a tan. Bird feeder's going. I'm an idiot. I was gonna put this on to show you guys. Before I went outside, obviously it's cold outside, but. Haley bought me this jacket yesterday. She was pretty hype about it. <laughs> she called it a coat. <laughs> it's not a coat, it's a jacket. It's like a hoodie. It's really nice though. She said she found it at the uh, thrift store, so that's pretty awesome. Guess what today is? <sighs> it's hair update day. So it has officially been four months. Four months. It's not that long, but it feels decently long because I've had all these hairs hanging in my face. I was putting it up like this. I'd have a little rubber band around these ones just to hold it out of my face when I'm at the gym. <laughs> Been letting the sides grow out right here. I haven't shaved these in a long, long while. Also, the beard. I'm pretty sure my beard's like, I think it's like three, three and a half months. And this is how long it is. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I've been wanting to shave it really, really bad. Um, but I told myself I can't shave it until my birthday. Either I'm gonna shave it on my birthday, or I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna re-dye it. Because as you can see, it's like half dyed. But as for now, I'm sorry. <laughs> you gotta deal with the, the scruffiness of the beard. Yeah, this is this is it. They've been they've been looking better every month. I'm not even gonna lie. Like every month they've been more matured and just really good growing. And um, every basically every single one of them are starting to like get wavy. Like if I pull out one, like you can kind of see that they do their own thing. This one's like. Like wavy, there's a bunch of them that are just wavy. They're all their own, their own design, I don't know, it's weird. I think it's because they're, uh, the shrinking process. I got this really tiny, tiny, just little nugget one. <laughs> it's like two of them put together, because you can see the heads on it. But it's just super tiny. It's like this small. It's so weird. Yeah, they're all doing they're all doing good. Like I said, they're maturing pretty good. Uh, I had somebody on the last video ask me to count them. Are you guys really interested in knowing how many dreads I have on my head? Is that a thing that that dreadheads do? They just they count all their dreads. Uh, I feel like it's gonna take a while, man. One, two. So I have a roughly, I have roughly around 60. That's what I've counted. Is that a, is that a quality number or is that a weak number? You let me know, cause I don't, I don't really know the, the purpose of counting my dreads <laughs> personally, but 
yeah, I, I don't think they're turning out bad. Like I said, they're they're growing every single month. They have looked different every single month. Like go back into my last month or even like my second month or whatever, like you could just see the progress that they've made. Just a lot of progress. Very happy with them. Eventually, I do want them to be thicker. Um, if you know who Jason Momoa is, when he had his really, really, really thick dreads, I want those. Those look awesome, dude. <sighs> yeah, I, I do need a shower. I need to wash them. I haven't washed them in about a week. Usually I wash them like once or twice a week. So, yeah, they're due for a wash. That's why they're so dark. Fresh out the shower. Hair's like uh, crazy. But this is the routine that I do after I take a shower. Why is this brightness so bright, dude? You can't even see my hair. Yeah. yeah that was just a little bit too much light. I always clean my ears right after I take a shower. So the first thing I do is I take this coconut oil and I'm gonna just put some on my fingers and wipe it in. And then I'm actually gonna put this in my hair, but I try to get it down to the roots because I have uh, I have dry scalp, so it just helps. Relax that just a little bit. Helps the itchiness. Just gonna massage it all the way down through here. Usually I put the extra in my beard. On my face. And then any I have extra after that on my body. Get all the extra off. Now, it's always best to separate your dreads after you shower. Just because it loosens your hair, makes it easier to pull apart. And so, if you find any that are too stuck together, you can pull it apart. You know, hear it just kind of ripping. Squish all the hair into a towel. And voila! It's time for the deadly part. This stuff is super strong. Uh, it's basically locking. It's called tightening spray. I need to cut my nails so don't flame me on that. But yeah, shake it up. And it's basically just sea salt and then a little bit of oil in it. And it's like I said before, it's really strong scented so I usually hold my breath and then Get out of that area real quick after I'm done. And I forgot. This stuff is still just floating around here. You can't see it, but you can kind of see it. It's like just floating all up here. It's in the sunlight. I brushed the um the coconut oil through my beard. 
just so it all gets through it. Look at this style. Let me zoom in. Yeah. Just trying to get all the oils through it, and then I take this this bristle one. And I just brush it down. Obviously, I don't know too much about doing beards, cause just look at mine. I just brush it all down, I'm trying to get it more straight. I'm trying to straighten my beard hairs more because then it'll all come down like this. As you can see, this is where I dyed it. But yeah, that's my that's my hair and my beard. This is after I take a shower. It all has to dry now, it looks crazy. Oh, my mom's home, you hear that? Hey, here's the front. Yeah, it still has water for splash now. Here's this right side. Here's the back. Ugh. You can see all the curly ones back there. Because that's the side I sleep on, obviously. Here's the, the left side. Stuck my earring. And then back to the front again. But yeah, if you guys are, uh, if you guys are planning on getting dreads or planning on doing something different, I say do it, man, because you're your own person. Just live your life. Be daring. Do what you want. Like, who are you if you listen to somebody else and all their opinions on how you're supposed to live? You're not living your own life, doing your own stuff. That being said, I hope you guys had a good morning, a good evening, or a good night, depending on what time it is. Adios, amigos. I will see you soon.